Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Today we have a requested tutorial and this is what I was sent. And basically it's a uh, dynamic 3D camera shake. And as you can see, the each of the layers you know, are separated from each other and we get this very unique uh, camera shake. So uh, this is what we'll be creating. Um, not exactly the same exact thing. And here's my uh, attempt at it. And I've created several different motions. So pretty much the same thing as you can see like the uh, different layers are separated from um, all the other elements so as the camera moves here we can see uh, more of that splatter or uh, as you see the text in its uh, little background layer is uh, overlaying on each other and moving around so at the end of the day it looks really awesome and that was a slower attempt this one's a little bit faster and jumpier so uh, you'll easily be able to uh, control uh, what you want to do so really interesting and here we are uh, in After Effects. I created all this in Photoshop. I couldn't, I found the, um, I found the background that they used in that video, but I couldn't find the uh, anime effector. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to separate each of these layers from each other. So what I mean by that is we need to separate them in 3D space. So I'll go ahead and make each of these layers uh, 3D layers. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the background layer and hit P on our keyboard position and let's bring back the uh, the background here actually you know what we need to select both of the group and background sorry about that and uh, bring those back into uh, 3d space and like 300 pixels is good and as you can see it's back there and then we have to hit S on our keyboard and we'll scale it up and scale it up a little bit more than the actual uh, composition size uh, because we will be rotating this thing and it'll cut off and, and it's a big mess so Make sure to do that. Okay, so there's one element. And then uh, let's go to our text up here. Uh, and let's see, let's start with our uh, Sunduck film text. And uh, let's bring this forward. And let me go ahead and change the quality of this because my computer can't handle everything. So bring that forward a little bit. And then uh, let's take the, uh, uh, the little... Uh, drop shadow here and let's also uh, bring that back a little bit so we have some depth between those two and then let's take the shapes here and let's uh, bring those back a little bit and we will need to scale them up just by a touch and then let's take the uh, purple background layer here and let's go ahead and bring that back actually that's, there we go and scale that up all right, and then let's go ahead and move these over a little bit, and then let's uh, scale them up maybe a little bit more, and let's move them over, and then let's select all these layers and move them over, so they're not going to get cut off on the edge here, and let me move my uh, text here to kind of be in the right spot of how I want to have it. I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard. All right, so you guys basically get the idea, and then we, the only thing we have left here is our splatter and our vector here and uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and once again move our uh, vector up in uh, Z space and then move the splatter back maybe just by a little bit so now we have some dynamic movement and I'll scale this up or sorry we have some di uh, we have some depth so we can, now we can create some dynamic movement all right and now let's, let's go ahead and go up to layer new camera and click OK so if we go to uh, the orbit camera tool up here and we kind of move here, uh, we can see that we've created depth. So as you can see, we have our, you know, our vector object in the foreground and our background objects, you know, all the way in the background there. So it's really awesome. And um, now let's go ahead and start animating these properties. So what we need to do, um, you know, of course, I'm going to apply a wiggle expression, but we have to uh, customize expression a little bit. Uh, because then the image is going to be bouncing back and forth like in Z space and we do not want that So we have to isolate the X and Y uh, Basically by itself and um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to where you can control all three of them So what I'll do is I'll click the stopwatch here and then I'm gonna type in um, X equals wiggle uh, open parenthesis one comma 500 close parenthesis and then uh, I guess it's uh, the open bracket, and no, that's not the bracket, it's the square bracket thing. <laughs> and then uh, zero on my keyboard and then the close 
bracket thing <laughs> and semicolon. So uh, basically, let's just go ahead and copy this and then set enter on our keyboard and just hit paste it. And then let's change the X to uh, Y. And then we can go ahead and customize this. Maybe we'll set it to uh, 100 and then set the 0 to uh, 1. Uh, so the X property is basically controlling this. This Y is controlling that. And then we'll go ahead and do one for the Z property. And then we'll change that to Z and set this to two. And since we do not want to wiggle the Z property, we're going to set it uh, the uh, second number in our parentheses to zero. So basically, if you don't know what the wiggle expression is, um, the first number in the parentheses right here uh, is going to say how many uh, times the... Um, how many times per second the uh, the animation is going to change? So if, if we're affecting the X position here, it's going to go like back and forth, and how many times per second it's going to change direction. And the second value is by like how much. So uh, basically, for X, it's going to move over by 500 pixels at the most. So uh, that's really how it works. And then uh, to finish off the expression, uh, we will uh, go ahead and do the uh, little square bracket thing, and then we'll type in X comma y comma z and then close the uh, bracket here and now we have created that uh, dynamic motion and uh, if you want to control it any further you open it back up and uh, you go ahead and type in what you want to do so and now we have one more expression uh, for the z rotation and make sure to all click that and we don't do anything special just type in wiggle open parenthesis uh, and we'll do like one comma five close parenthesis and then once you're done, uh, make sure to scrub through the timeline to see if there's any elements that are out of place or anything that's getting you know cut off um, due to all this rotation stuff's going on. And this actually looks pretty good. Oh, there, see, right there. And that's a quick fix. It, basically, I'll just go to the background layers and I'll just scale them up. And that's what you gotta watch out for when you scrub through your footage here. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and render a quick preview and we'll see what we got. And this is what we have come up with. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests for tutorials, please let me know. And if you have any questions, please drop a comment. And if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And also check out my social media links in the description of this video. And guys, hopefully I will see you soon.